Hello and welcome to the Gag of Woke Challenge and if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samueli. With me today, of course, is co-founder of the Gag, Peter Lavelle, host also of RT's talk show, Crosstalk. Well, Peter, uh, yesterday was a very surprising announcement. The Office of the Inspector General of the National Security Agency, that's the uh, agency tasked with spying on the entire universe, uh, 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 you know, uh, all of the electronic communications of everybody on the planet, um, has this Office of the Inspector General has decided to investigate um, uh, what happened to a certain journalist, journalist. unnamed, um, and whether proper procedures were followed uh, in, in the case of this journalist. Now, of course, we know that this journalist referred to is uh, Tucker Carlson. When we remember that Tucker Carlson had said that uh, the NSA was in possession of his uh, communications. Um, if, and if the uh, uh, audience remembers, uh, the NSA responded by saying, ha, huh, that is ridiculous. Tucker Carlson has never been a target of an NSA investigation. Non-denial uh, denial. Yeah, now, of course, exactly, non-denial denial. And of course, Tucker Carlson never said he had been the target of an investigation. Um, the question was, first, you know, did they have his communications? And second, the much more serious case, did they disclose to the public uh, the identity of the American uh, who was uh, doing the communicating? Because of course, by law, the NSA cannot spy on uh, Americans. And should they come across while they're spying on foreigners, should they come across communications involving Americans, they are obligated to uh, keep those names uh, secret, not just from the public, but from everyone else in the government. So, so in other words, if it's a journalist, they just simply say journalist A, uh, and that's it. There's, you know, there's no, no, no identification at all. And that's within the government. In other words, that's, that's not you know, just you know, Joe public, but with, to communicate within the government. However, it's clear that uh, the, the issue was, and this is Tucker Carlson uh, disclosed it, the issue was that he, Tucker Carlson, was communicating with some Kremlin intermediaries in order to set up an interview uh, with Vladimir Putin. Um, now these intermediaries may well have been uh, under suspicion or are being spied on by the NSA, but nonetheless, um, you know, their communication with Journalist A uh, should have been kept a secret, and certainly the identity of journalist A should not have been disclosed. But it's clear now that the NSA did disclose that this was journalist A was in communication, and clearly they were seeking to discredit uh, Tucker Carlson for engaging with these Kremlin intermediaries to horror upon horrors to set up an interview with. Uh, of Vladimir Putin, we'd have to say right away that the Office of the Inspector General would not have undertaken this case had there not been a prima facie case of wrongdoing. Then I would say, you know, this is this is serious. Not stuff. frivolous. It's not yeah, frivolous. They, exactly. They wouldn't have done it if they said, oh, just somebody throwing around a lot of accusation. They took this on because there's clearly some, you know, serious issue that members of the Biden administration um, had unmask yep. Tucker Carlson. So, anyway. I, mean, I mean, they're doing it because it happened, right. okay? I mean, at logic, okay? Because because it did happen, they have to, now they have to uh, clean up somebody's mess here. Now, what we need to find out is that, um, was there a political figure within the administration? Were they, were they in uh, on a fishing expedition? Did they request this from the NSA? I mean, we need to find out who's parlaying with whom here. How would I, I mean, why did his name get unmasked? I mean, what was the intent of unmasking him? Obviously, the first conclusion you can draw is to smear him because we, uh, of the, the, from the paint and canvas known as Russiagate, all right? Um, secondly, um, as you and I have discussed a number of times here, a Tucker Carlson interview of Vladimir Putin would be very, very different. We have a preamble to that, right. the totally excellent interview with Viktor Orban, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Yep. Um, and actually, Orban came out a very different figure than probably you were told, okay? Right. And, and, and so, and, 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 and plus, T Tucker Carlson is an effective journalist, okay? Unlike almost anybody else right. in that profession. 
Um, also, um, we, we have to keep in mind is uh, um, who in the media was also contacted, okay, to, to, to start um, uh, revealing this. I would kind of like to know um, I, uh, the process of how Tucker Carlson learned about it. I'm not looking for naming names here on that end of it, okay? But I mean, um, did they want him to know? Was this a, creating a uh, an atmosphere of fear? I mean, because it, it seems like that to me. I mean, like, they wanted to send a chill his way. Right. And he didn't buy it, he took it and he ran with it. And, he, and I, I suppose these boneheads, you know, these people that think they're so clever, right. they, they just, they, they, Tucker Carlson turns turn it around and use it as a, a cudgel against them. Backfire, you idiots. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that's right. I think it is a, a, a legacy of Russiagate. So whoever is in within the administration, you know, I mean, we know some of the creatures who were involved in the previous unmasking because the Obama administration just went back. On, a, uh, <laughs> on a rampage of, the, of, of unmasking. Uh, Susan Rice, so we say, but there are others. And, and the power. Exactly. But Susan Rice holds a very senior position within this administration as she did in the uh, Obama administration. So, you know, so, you know, you know there's, a, there's a long, uh, tradition that's, you know, that unites these two administrations. So, but it's a legacy of that. And I think they were calculating that somehow, if they disclose that Tucker Carlson is communicating with some shady figures, uh, this would discredit the Tucker Carlson. Well, of course, it doesn't do anything of the sort because you know, say, well, I, you know, what am I doing? I'm, I'm a journalist. Um, my job is to interview political leaders. I mean, that's what I, that, that's kind of what I'm get paid to do. <laughs> so uh, I, therefore, if I was trying to set up an interview. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was supposed to set up an interview. So why they would have think that this would somehow discredit Dr. Carlson, we don't know. But, you know, but, you know, <laughs> you know maybe what goes on in their strange uh, right. minds is, is a different matter altogether. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, if, if 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 he pulled that off, I'd say what a scoop. I mean, right. because I, you know, you know, why watch? And I mean, I've been to so many press conferences with Putin. Okay, I actually, I got to ask him a question once directly at the Val Dyke um, Discussion Club. Um, you know, and you know, most all Western journalists, all they are impressed with is their question because they're not interested in what he what Putin <laughs> has to say. They're so proud of their question, you know. Yeah. Um, and then they sit down, and then you know, they they they, they probably turn off their translation because they just don't have have a care in the world. Yeah, who cares what he says? But I've, I've seen this. Yeah. I've yeah. seen this repeatedly. Okay. Yeah. Particularly from the you know the major news outlets, but I mean um, Tucker Carlson would get something very different because he'd say, "Well, can you follow up on that? What do you mean right. by that?" Okay, that, I mean again, we we saw what happened with Victor Urban. I think we would get uh, be treated to something of the same parallel. I, I I think so. I think he would be asking questions very very different from the ones that were asked by um, uh, Chris, Chris Wallace. Wallace. Uh, and Megyn Kelly, because they do what you know, we've said this many times, they just ask the usual, when did you stop beating your wife questions? You know, you know, why are you spying on uh, the United States? Why are you sabotaging uh, elections? Why are you hacking into uh, the colonial pipeline? Um, why are you um, interfering in the uh, country's internal affairs? Why are you being aggressive against Ukraine? I mean, that, that's, that's the level of the question. And it's extremely tedious. And uh, Putin is usually very patient, but it's a pointless exercise because as you say, the, the interviewer is not interested in the answer. He's just, got, he's just thinking about the next question ahead. You know, you, know, it's like, you, know, you just keep bombarding him with these stupid questions. You don't care what he says because you don't believe anything he says anyway. Uh, so this would be a very different uh, kind of interview. And I think uh, you know, it, it, it's clear that there are plenty of people who are desperate that this doesn't happen. I, I think that because of the inspector general of the NSA is doing this, I mean, it's good. He's in a he's put himself into the spotlight. I mean, he's going to have to give us some answers here because um, uh, Tucker has his own plausible explanation. You and I have kind of chewed on it as well. Um, we, we need some answers. And since he said he's going to do it, um, I'm going to be very curious here. I mean, we've had so much abuse uh, 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 with the, the national security state 
right. over the uh, over the last five years or so. I mean, and that's just because of Trump, and not even before right. that. Here, right. 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 I mean, I mean, I have to hope, and you know, and I'll hope always dies last. Is that you know they can sick the dogs of war against any and all of us? Okay. Right. No, I think I have to right. draw a line here pretty soon. That's, that's right. And and the abuse, the abuse actually even precedes uh, Trump because you know we we had this. Um, that the judge who ruled that basically the FBI, you know, have been just having a field day. They just go into the NSA database and, you know, you know, just, you know, we, you know, something that's supposed to be kept secret. You can't just simply go in and start, you know, rummaging around out of uh, idle curiosity. But the, that's what exactly what the FBI have been doing. I mean, they, they've been using that NSA database uh, to their heart's content. This abuse has gone on, uh, you know, for, for years and, and no one's done anything about it. Um, this, I think, is just probably a, a bit of an embarrassment uh, for the NSA, which, I, which is why I guess the Inspector General is stepping in, uh, because Tucker Carlson is a prominent journalist, and, you know... And they know he won't let it go. He's not going to let it go, and they have a problem here, which is, you know, he was unmasked. So, you know, you, you're unmasking a journalist. This is, this, is, this is not good. A journalist was just doing his job. And you're unmasking him. I mean, this, this, well, it, it's there is abuse going on here. Let's let's see if any. Um, I, I, I think I, I hope Tucker will comment on it um, uh, tonight. Um, we'll see. But you can re rest assured, CNN and uh, uh, and and uh, MSNBC and 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 the three um, networks, they're probably not going to say a word about this. No. So the public won't even know, and it'll only come from one major source. Okay. And, and that, that tells you everything you know about the state of journalism here. I mean, what journalists do, not only, they're mostly stupid, but they their, their greatest um, fault is omission. They right. just don't say anything. I, I don't know, is CNN gonna talk about the third Hunter uh, Biden <laughs> uh, laptop? I mean, and all of those lurid, I mean, we saw the pixeled stuff, I mean, and apparently there's a whole lot of it. I'm not interested in the lurid stuff, not at all, zero. If they delete it, I could care less, okay? I mean, the visual, the, the, the video part of it, okay? Um, but you know, what about the content, the content of these things here? Right, right, I mean, right. and, and again, of course, you leave it to the to the loonies like Hannity to go, you know, all, all of his program on it. And, that, and, the, and you know what that does? CNN says, oh, that's a Fox story. That's a Fox story, okay? Right. It's it, the the sin. The greatest sin of journalism is omission. Right. No, I I, I think it's uh, uh that's right. Um, but if you remember when uh, you know Tucker first raised this issue, he was attacked and he was oh. mobbed, but uh, uh, mocked by most of the rest of the mainstream media, and and that was a remarkable thing because you think that as journalists you're saying, hey, well. I, you know, I, I, want, I want to really find out what's going on here. I mean, even if this journalist is wrong, nonetheless, you know, I need to find out whether, you know, was he being targeted by this behemoth of the NSA? Um, and, but instead, they all attacked him and they, you know, they were just more eager, you know, oh, the NSA, you know, right on, uh, as opposed to being, taking the side of the uh, of the journalist. So that's the, that's the amazing thing that you have, a, you have this, the media that are basically, you know, they're shooting for the national security state. You know, but, what side? They, but their, I mean, their their uh, infantile conclusion. Well, the NSA was um, spying on them. There must have been a good reason for it. That's good for reason. the NSA. What I mean is that how far we've gone down that rabbit hole? You know, really? he was trying to set up an interview with Putin. Whoa, that is serious stuff. I mean, that's. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, yeah, no, that, that's exactly their attitude. Well, yeah, he obviously they they needed to you know look what he was doing. I mean, he was you know he was consorting with Russians. I mean, that's that you know. Well, you know who who loved it. We I wouldn't be surprised that don't, let's go back to that time frame. I'm sure these people would say, and what does he want to do next? Talk to Victor Orban? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. But I mean, but it's true. I mean, I you know when when the whole. Um, uh, the Carter Page story uh, was disclosed sometime in early 2018, not because of anything in the um, the journalist, the journalist did nothing, but through uh, Devin Nunes, uh, who, who, who revealed about the Pfizer warrants and, and the, their reliability on the Steele dossier and how they got this um, 
uh, warrant to, to spy on uh, Carter Page. What was the response? Well, Carter Page obviously deserved it. I mean, what he, you know, he, he, he went to Russia and he delivered a public lecture in Russia. Whew. <laughs> Can't get worse than that. Get your rights. Spy get your rights. Yeah, you the phone, <laughs> computer, he need, you know, everything we need to spy on. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that, 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 that's uh, the modern journalism. Yeah, well, when Daniel Ellsberg came out with the Pentagon Papers, People lined up behind him. They did. They right. did the right thing. Right, right. That's how far away from well, doing exactly. Right I, I, exactly. But of course, now, you know, all the media say, well, you know, we're, we're right behind, you know, Daniel Ellsberg. You know, Daniel Ellsberg, he was a good guy. Yeah, yeah. But so we're, we're with yeah. Daniel Ellsberg. <laughs> but of course, Ellsberg himself said, yeah, if you're on my side, then today you would be on the side of Julian yeah. Assange. You would be on the side of uh, Chelsea Manning. You would be on the side of Edward Snowden. If you're not on their side, then you're not really on my side. And that's, yeah. that's Any, the point. Anyone can be on the side of someone from 1971, 50 years ago. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> You're all right. You know. oh, it's, but that's courage. That's courage. <laughs> Daniel exactly. Ellsberg, you yeah. weren't even born, but you're exactly. with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why do, you know, everybody, you know, why do you think George and I have so much material? Why do you think we make so many videos? Because there's so much material out there. The, the, the complete lunacy of the public sphere. And we know who's done it to us, right. okay? And we're going to keep doing it until we're blue in the face. And hopefully until they're blue in the face. <laughs> All right, we're going to obviously, um, you know, everyone knows George and I like uh, Tucker Carlson. And we think he does really good work. And we're going to keep a good, good uh, close eye on the story. So everyone, we're on Locals. So please go to the goggle.locals.com. Um, please, we invite you to do a Zoom interview with us. But there are a lot of, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, we're, um, George has already done the live stream. We've got the, the store up. Um, we've done Q&As. We're going to keep that tradition alive too. And I will mention that we do have a tip jar. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to parade Buddy out because he's sick and tired of me doing that. But you know, we really do appreciate your help. It does help with the quality and it, it, it reassures us that we're doing the right thing. Okay, and we really do want to write the, do the right thing. And if we're not, please tell us. Okay, and please tell us what you want. Okay, what we can do better, what we can change, anything. We're open. It's a community. No, I couldn't agree more. Um, and uh, you know, we, we'll be doing a super chat on YouTube very shortly. So that's something to look forward to. And remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.